Yo, 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 yo! So, we're going to learn in this video what a geometric sequence is. So, in mathematics, a geometric progression, also known as a geometric sequence, is a sequence of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio. Now, your arithmetic sequence in series has formulas, so why not? We have our own geometric sequence formula. Now this formula is a n is equal to a1 times r raised to n minus 1. Yes, now that is our formula. Now let's get up. Oh, what? Oh, yes, of course. Your d represents a, referen a, a difference. Now we don't have a difference here because it's not an arithmetic. Okay, it's not an arithmetic mean, but it's a geometric mean, so it is called now a ratio. One example of a ratio, or your formula for your ratio, is second term divided by your first term. Now, you can also use your sixth term divided by your fifth term, or your fifth term divided by your fourth term, or anything else, as long as it's a progressive one. So... We have another pro we have a problem here actually. Find A12 if A1 is equal to 6 and R is equal to 1 over 3. Now you put your formula just for guidance and you plug in your given to that formula. So you get A12 is equal to 6 minus 1 over 3 raised to 12 minus 1. Now 12 minus 1 everyone? 12 minus 1? 12 minus 1? Yeah, I heard you. 11. So A12 is equal to 6 minus 1 over 3 raised to 11. Now, simplifying that, yes, yes, yes. So we get 6 times, times 1 over 177,147. Now, simplify that, you get 6 over... 177,147 because you multiplied that to, yeah. So, now, your A12, so you divide that. You divide 6 and your denominator. So, A12 is equal to 2 over 59,049. Okay, that is your A12. Congratulations. Yes, pause this video. Pause this video if you're having a hard time. Please, I'm going to be patient with you. Pause this video if you're having a hard time. Go back to this problem. If you're not, let's do this. So find A7 if A1 is equal to 5 and R is equal to 1 over 5. Plug, plug in your given again to your formula and you get A7 is equal to 5 times 1 over 2 raised to 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1, everyone? 6. Yes, you got it. 5 times 1 over 2 is raised to 6. Now, multiplying that, 5 times 1 over 15,625. Now, multiply that, you get 6 over 3,125. Y'all hear it? Yes, it is multiplied. I mean, oh no, I'm sorry. It is simplified. It is simplified. So that's how you got your A7. Now we have another problem here. So A1 is equal to 6 and A5 is equal to 48. You don't have an R. I know, I'm surprised too, but don't be worried. So AN is equal to A1 times R raised to N minus 1. Now 48 is equal to 6 times R raised to 5 minus 2. Yes, yes, you already plugged in your given onto your formula now r3 is equal to 8 and using your square rooting skills you get r is equal to 2 now simplify simplify a1 is equal to a2 divided by r and you get a1 is equal to 6 over 2 and now you get 3 that is your a1 now there's a word problem here you complain that the hot tub in your hotel suite is not hot enough i know i know the temperature sometimes is like that it's okay y'all it's okay it's not like a word first word problem or something 
it's not a first world problem or something it's fine you can get through this so your hotel tells you that they will increase the temperature by 10 percent each hour if the current temperature of the tub inc is 75 fahrenheit 75 percent temperature fahrenheit what will be the temperature after three hours mm -hmm. yeah i see that after three hours yes will you take this challenge let's take this challenge so a n is equal to a one times r raised to n minus one yes remember that n minus one yes okay a four is equal to 75 times 1.10 1.10 is equal is your common ratio because that's what you got from the problem times 4.4 minus 1 so you get 99.8 fahrenheit peace out thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time when we make another video bye i hope you get what we under what we taught you